Item number SCP-1166 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1166 is to be contained in Animal Testing Laboratory 31F at Site-23. SCP-1166 is to be maintained in accordance with established care and feeding protocols for Radis Nofetius and housed in an appropriate enclosure. As of BEEP 2011, all research projects and experiments involving SCP-1166 must be submitted to the Site-23 Ethics Committee for approval. At the committee's discretion, a Class C amnestic is to be administered to SCP-1166 after completion of designated projects and experiments, with a minimum recuperation period of two weeks before the commencement of additional research. All staff initially assigned to work with SCP-1166 are to be briefed by the research director on its anomalous qualities. Staff may request assignment on an alternate project immediately following the initial briefing. Description SCP-1166 is a laboratory rat displaying an appearance consistent with a normal instance of Radis nephricus. Blood samples taken from SCP-1166 revealed that it is a genetically manipulated chimera, with samples containing an abnormally high percentage of human cells, B%. In comparison with previously documented non-anomalous specimens, biopsies revealed the presence of a significant amount of human brain tissue and human nerve cells in SCP-1166's spinal cord. SCP-1166 has been demonstrated to mimic human biology almost exactly in an extensive battery of control tests involving D-class personnel, with innocuous reactions to radiation exposure, heat cold tolerance, rapid decompression, pathogens including, including morbid virus, rabies, beep, and smallpox, toxins and other external factors. SCP-1166 displays tolerances to experimental conditions equal to those expected of a 65kg human male. Upon death, SCP-1166 will spontaneously revive after a period of between 18 to 45 minutes. Tissue, vital organs, and bodily fluids are seemingly regenerated prior to revival, to the point where severed limbs have been documented to grow back, as documented in the intake report and subsequent cognition tests, SCP-1166 is sapient and fully capable of communicating in English with research staff when provided with proper means. Recovery Log 1166 Following reports received by undercover agents monitoring Beep Corporation, a pharmaceutical firm, SCP-1166 was recovered clandestinely by Foundation operatives on BEEP during initial trials for BEEP, an experimental psychotropic drug. Notes confiscated from these trials indicate that corporate management was aware of SCP-1166's heightened intelligence and ability to communicate, and as such had identified it as a highly desirable test subject for neurochemical-based pharmaceuticals. No other rat in the possession of Beep Corporation were observed to demonstrate the anomalous properties exhibited by SCP-1166. It is currently unknown how the corporation obtained a specimen that apparently was the end product of genetic engineering far surpassing currently available technology. After recovery of SCP-1166, Class C amnestics were administered to BEEP researchers and three executives of BEEP Corporation. An H-type internet-based disinformation campaign was commenced by staff due to several references to SCP-1166 by Radical Animal Rights Group. Intake Report 1166 Upon assuming custody of SCP-1166, Dr. Beep conducted the following interview. SCP-1166 was provided with a specially modified touchpad in order to respond to staff inquiries through a text generator. 
Please provide a brief description of yourself for the record, SCP-1166. Animal Light Laboratory Rat, Specimen R-82611. Know when herding starts when they say R-82611. SCP-1166, do you know why you are currently in possession of the Foundation? Foundation ex Dr. Beep stop hurting we. Foundation not hurt we? I'm not going to hurt you, SCP-1166. Now, you have been observed to experience a state indistinguishable from clinical death, and then subsequently revive, yet you retain memories prior to each instance of death. Is this accurate? Is this accurate, SCP-1166? R-82611 remember many, many times. Painful, but better now, Doctor. Are you aware of other specimens similar to yourself in existence? No. Do you have any insight as to how you came to be self-aware and able to communicate with humans? No. That would be all, SCP-1166. Addendum. Prior to the commencement of Experiment 1166-3, Researcher Beep filed a formal complaint with the Site-23 Ethics Committee. Relevant documentation as follows. Request for review by Site Ethics Committee. SCP involved. SCP-1166. Requested by Researcher Beep. Priority B2. Comments. SCP-1166 displays intelligence that may be equivalent to that of a normal human, along with emotions such as sadness, anxiety, and fear. Unlike a standard D-class subject, SCP-1166 has not committed any crimes against established society, nor has it consented to any commentary expunged. Carrying out experiment 1166-3, or indeed any of the other planned research slated for SCP-1166, would be an act of wanton cruelty for no purpose except for to confirm what we already know. Science does not require that we abandon our morals, such as they are in this place, and neither I nor any other researchers can continue the inhumane treatment of this poor being. We still have consciousness, damn it. Memorandum to Dr. Beep from Site 23 Ethics Committee. Review request 1166. After three rounds of voting over a two day period involving numerous abstentions by members, by 726 decision, the committee has proved further testing involving SCP 1166, provided that updated parameters regarding its use are adopted. While the committee recognizes the objections of researcher Beep regarding intrusion and painful testing on the sapient and non-consenting life form, SCP-1166 displays properties that must be understood and documented in full by the Foundation. SCP-1166's regenerative properties in particular merit further study. Applied knowledge of its principles may have Great benefit both in the containment of dangerous phenomena and in use by Foundation staff. This being said, measures to minimize distress to SCP-1166 are authorized and encouraged. The committee recommends use of amnestics to reduce SCP-1166's memories of particularly traumatic events, and after review of Experiment Log 1166-2, Anesthesia for medical procedures are now required. Research staff are encouraged to communicate with SCP-1166 on a daily basis regarding non-mission sensitive topics as a further means of documenting its anomalous intelligence. Upon his request, Researcher Beep has been transferred to work on SCP-Beep, Director Beep.